Hey, hello guys, welcome back. This is Viren Kumar. So today in this video session, I am going to show like how we you can work with the BDD Cucumber framework and how you can create your first feature file, first test case in the BDD Cucumber framework. What are all the steps required to set up a BDD Cucumber framework? That I am going to explain in this video in a very simple way. So if you are a fresher and the beginner, beginner and if you want to learn the BDD Cucumber, you can follow this video and you can understand the basic idea about the BDD Cucumber and how you can create the first test case in the BDD Cucumber framework. So to work with the BDD Cucumber, first you need to open your Eclipse. You, if you have installed the Eclipse in well and good, if you don't know, you can install the latest version of the Eclipse that is supported by the BDD Cucumber. If you want me to make a video on it, you just comment me so that I can make a video how to download and the set up the Eclipse and the Java for your project. So as of now, I have the Eclipse and the Java is already set up on my machine. So now to create a BDD project or the Maven project, I will go to the file sections. Then you have the new, under the new, you can create on the project. Now you can see the select the wizard window will open. Under this window, you can go to the Maven folder. And under this Maven, you can select the Maven project. Now you can see the next. You have the two options. If you want to create a simple project, you can select this one. And if you want to use the default workspace locations that you are using already and the default workspace locations created by the Eclipse, if you want to use that one. So I am prefer to use the default workspace locations. Now you can see the next. Here you need to select the archetype. Okay. The archetypes, you have the catalog sessions in the drop down catalogs. You can choose the internal. In the internal, you will get the one options is there. Org.apache Maven archetypes. So Maven archetype quick start 1.1. This version you need to select. Okay. And then you can set the next. Here you can give the name. Okay. So BDD Cucumber demo okay now artifact id you can provide the btd cucumber framework demo click click on the finish now here you can see that your project is going to create it this is your maven project so this is how you can create all your own maven project in the eclipse now you have the BDD Cucumber framework in your hand. So this is the BDD Cucumber framework. If we want to explain this BDD Cucumber framework, we have the one SRC main Java pick folder. This is the one folder. SRC test Java, this is the second folder. JRE, which will take the default. JRE is the version. So we can update the JRE. So as of now, I want to use the latest JRE version. So for that, you can go to this library sections okay and then you can edit the jre and you can select the latest version of the jre so what i am using i am using the jdk 1.8 okay so i am going to select the jdk 1.8 and i just want to finish and apply and the close so now now i have the uh, java version 8 in my project now in the src main java you have the one package is there okay under this package they will provide the demo java file that means you can write the code java code in this file or you can create the package with your own name and you can create the java class and you can write the code here second folder is the src test java folder in that also they provide the app test Java. They are saying that you can create the test ng or test suit code here. You can start from the your testing code here. So mainly you can create the test cases. So for the test cases, you can write the code from here. So these are the two folders. So you 
simply you can delete these ones okay we no need to require these ones okay now the maven dependencies are there so as of now we have the j unit 3.1 point 3.8 point okay this is my j unit now i have the pom dot this is main file pom dot xml file so you need to configure this pom dot xml file first okay this this much you will get when you first time going to create the maven project for your bdd cucumber framework so you will get the pom.xml file like that okay in the pom.xml file we define all the dependencies so here we have a one very good questions for the interview like why we use the pom.xml file so you can answer the pom.xml file contains all the dependencies which will download it automatically when you start the project initially if there is any changes in the jar files it will download automatically that current version of the dependency so manually we no need to download the jar file and need to put into the project so that that's why we use the pom.xml file so you can define all the dependency required for this project okay so to define these ones we have the dependencies in the dependencies plugins we have all the dependencies okay this I will make a separate video to explain the pom.xml file. As of now, you can understand this is the pom.xml file. These are the target folder. The target folder we will use for the reporting purpose. All the usation file, your Cucumber report will generate in the target folder. Okay. So this is the basic structure of the Maven project we have created. Okay. So this is how you can create your Maven project. Now I want to integrate with the BDD Cucumber. So how we can design the BDD Cucumber framework. So for that let me take you to the my existing framework. So the BDD Cucumber framework is there. In the SRC main Java folder we have the config package, we have the feature file package. In the feature files, we have the feature file is there. Okay. The, all the feature files we can write under the SRC main Java. Okay. Under this, you can create the uh, one package and under this package, you can, de you can define your feature files. Okay. So this is my one feature file, which I have written. The feature is verify Google search functionality in the Chrome. Then I have the one scenario and these are the Jerkins language. So you can define your feature file here. Then I have the second SRC test Java. In that I have my test cases. So step definitions you can define though. So this is the Java file. Under this Java file I have defined the step of this feature file. So these are the feature. Uh, I have the three steps which I need to define. So for that I have uh, this java step definition file so in this uh, one user launch the chrome browser so you can see the feature one feature is user launch the chrome browser for that i am giving the implementation in this method so you can see this is the one method or you can see this is the one block okay so how it is coming the steps with this one then it is having the one block in that block i have defined the code which code you i want to do for my automations so this i have defined the code so launching the browser code is there first i'm accessing the chrome driver then i'm launching the chrome driver maximizing the window then accessing the google.com then we have the second step enter the bdd in the search box click on the search button so for that i have given the dummy code searching checking and the close so like that you can define the code for your automations as per the steps given in the feature file so this is the step definition which is the implementation of these features okay then we have the test runner file so this is my test runner file in that i have the code which i want to execute the features 
you can provide the path of this feature the feature file path you can provide okay in the glue sections you can provide the um, the package name where you are keeping your step definition so in the step definitions i have my uh, all the step definitions code so you can give the path for that is step definitions so this will come under the src test java okay now i have the maven dependency so you can see all the dependencies are there in my project now how these dependencies are downloaded these i have defined in my pom.xml so this is my pom.xml prepared i will provide this pom.xml in the descriptions you can just copy and paste in your pom.xml file and you can build your project so you just comment me below in this video okay and this is my driver folder in this driver i have my chrome driver.exe and in the target folder i have uh, the reports which is generated if any report plugin is there okay now let me run and we'll show how this is working so you can go to the test runner you just right click run as and the jnut test it will execute the feature file so the first step is it will launch the chrome driver the chrome has started it will launch the chrome driver then it will access the www.google.com so it access the google.com now we have the search box to launching the chrome search in the chrome clicking one scenario is executed and three steps got passed in 32 milliseconds okay so like that you can create your first test case in the pdd cucumber framework